My dad can whistle really loud. And I've always wanted to learn how. It would be so useful. I could whistle to signal someone while I'm in danger. Help, I've fallen and I can't get up. Call my dog. What up, G? Cheer on someone. Or even impress some pigeons. Pigeons will respect you. The thing is, every time I've tried to learn, I end up with this. Don't get me wrong, I can whistle. It's just not really that loud. So today, I'm gonna learn two methods to whistle aggressively loud. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna challenge my father to a duel. And we'll see who can whistle the loudest. First, we're learning the two-handed or the finger gun method. To do this, make finger guns with both of your hands. Place the sides of your palms together and bring your fingers to a point. Then cover your teeth with your lips Push your jaw forward and roll the tip of your tongue back with your fingers. From here, it should just take some playing around until you get a sound. I really think I might be able to get this one on like the first try. So uh, let's give it a go. Okay, I was joking, but that was the second try. Holy. <laughs> Mickey sound on the second try was unexpected and short-lived. I lost it pretty quick and got right back to practice. It took me about five more minutes just to get a sound again. <laughs> uh oh. And seven and a half minutes in, this happened. Ah, I'm tired. I'm lightheaded. While I'm busy dying over there, if you could take a second to drop a like down below, it'd be super helpful to the channel. At this point, I decided to try one finger on each hand, and that seemed to work out a lot better for me. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we got that one down. Now it's time to learn the one-handed method. So the concept here is essentially the same, difference being you're using your pointer finger and thumb instead of a finger on each hand. <laughs> me, 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 me. So this was interesting because it's honestly a lot harder at first than I thought it was going to be. After three and a half minutes of practice, I was able to get a sound. And when we hit the six and a half minute mark, I was actually able to get a whistle. We're about nine and a half minutes in and things are starting to sound a little better. Ah, I'm so close. Oh God. <laughs> and after 12 and a half nauseating oh, minutes, shit. I was finally able to get a whistle. <laughs> so this one definitely took me a bit longer than expected and I'm certainly no expert, but I'd say good enough. I did also learn the fingerless whistle. Let's just say I didn't get very far. All right, so I've learned both methods, and just like that, the time has come to duel my father. So for this duel, I played around with both methods and decided I would have the best chance of beating him with the one-handed whistle. So without any further ado, let's give it a go. Uh -huh. I've wanted to learn how to do this since I've seen my dad doing it growing up. I'm definitely nowhere near as good at it as him, consistency-wise at least, but we're gonna see who can get it the loudest on a decibel meter. I'm gonna hold it about two feet away. I'll let you go first, Dad. What are we doing, the two hand or the one hand? Whatever your weapon of choice is. I'll hold it like a... Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm just gonna tell you guys I'm not gonna get anywhere near that. <laughs> that was pretty great. 114.7, by the way. All right, all right. Yeah, this might take me a couple tries, I'm gonna... Yeah, yeah. I'm missing like the high pitch end of it, but that was it was 104.7, 105 around there. Um, Very close. All right. Hey, at least I learned how to do it. Not another, bad for one day's practice. <laughs> yeah. I'll give it another like 20 or 30 <laughs> odd years and, and see where I get. <laughs> nice work. <laughs> okay. Okay. In hindsight, let's be real. I didn't stand a chance, all right? But to be honest, I'm still really happy with my performance. After all, I've only been doing this for like 24 hours and well, he's got at least another 30 years on me. I still want to learn the fingerless whistle, so maybe I'll go learn that and challenge him again. Before I go, I wanted to give a huge shout out to Mike Shake and Henry Vo. They both had videos on this topic and definitely inspired me to make this one. Definitely go check them out. Links in the description below. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to check out my last one where I learned touch typing for 15 days and quadrupled my typing speed. Also, drop a comment down below of what you want me to learn next. All right, guys, my name is Rohan and I'm gonna catch you in the next video. Peace. Yeah. Moist. 
All right, so a little PS, I shot this interview with my dad and it didn't end up making the cut, but I wanted to share it anyway. So if you want to check it out, here it is. So when did you first learn how to whistle loudly with the one hand thing? So uh, as a kid, I always looked up to a cousin who could and one day he finally taught me and it took uh, a lot of practice to get it done, but a few days of uh, just blowing air out of my mouth and I finally started to sense the whistle coming out. Like, was it for any specific reason or you just thought it was cool? I just thought it was cool. I, you know, I had a cousin who could do it and I, I wanted to be like him and be able to do it. Do you remember exactly how long it took you to learn? Um, probably a solid two, three days. How has it proved useful? I'm trying to get my kids' attention <laughs> or friends. Uh, yeah, I mean, definitely, uh, you know, jokes aside, been able to use it when we got separated out hiking in the woods or something like that. Uh, so no, no, no doubt is a nice tool to, to be able to use. Shh.